So one question I've had from a few people who have seen that we have you know, a lot of YouTube videos out there. We've been very active on YouTube and they're like, can you give us some tips for doing YouTube videos? So here is one of my videos on YouTube videos. Kind of seems weird, doesn't it? First off, you need to have, of course, your YouTube account. You need to have your social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, your website. Ideally, in this day and age, you want that website to be a blog, like a WordPress blog or something to that effect. You want to have those up. You want those to have those up to date, and you want those to be properly tagged and meta tagged. That's kind of that's a starting point. Second thing, then now you're going to be creating videos for YouTube. You need to keep your videos short. Generally, between one and three minutes is max. If you've got some really good content, you can go a little longer. If you hit five minutes or more, you've lost most of your people. I can go through and look. I've only got a couple of videos in all of our stuff that's like over 15 minutes. One of them that's 20. Our, our, our actually our most popular video on our YouTube page is 20 some minutes long, but it's a piece of gear that is really awesome. So short videos. Secondly, now that you, you've got your video, make sure you tag it properly. Use some of the key terms. So if you're doing, say, some wedding advice for a grand entrance, you want to have wedding advice, grand entrance for the bride and groom in, in video, and you want to make sure you're using these terms in in the title as much as you possibly can in that title. Then you take that title, whatever you're using, and your keywords, and you also, if you can, get your company in there. Then you want to make sure you, you put that same, all those same words in the description. And then, of course, when you tag the uh, video, you want to tag it with the same wording. In that description, if you can, you want to put, you want to put the, actually everything you said. If you could go through and, you know, in essence, you put the whole script of what you said in the description, that's fabulous. That would be, that's ideal. Secondly, if you can't, give it a short one paragraph kind of description of what you just talked about in the video. Again, the text in that will be searched. It will be something that Google will find because Google owns YouTube or YouTube owns Google or whatever you want. They're basically one and the same. And because of that, Google loves everything that comes through YouTube. So having a more text in there that describes the video properly is going to be important. Next, those links to those social media pages. You need to put those in there. You need to link to your website. Ideally, you will put this video as part of your blog. You want to make sure that that link is on that YouTube video also. So you'll be linking to your blog where that video is showing up. The video then will be pulling off, off YouTube to go and, and put that embedding. That's If you want to give tips on embedding, we can talk about that in a different video. You also want to have your links to the different uh, components. Say if you're talking about a product for a bride, you want to link to it. If you're talking about something else, well, you, that's cool. But then you want your links to your social media. You want to have your Twitter link. You want to have your Facebook link. You want to have all of that. And you may have six, seven links in there. That's not a big deal. But you want to make sure the links are there and that they're going to your stuff and not just sending them somewhere else. With the links, make sure you're putting HTTP colon slash slash. I've seen a lot that are putting just a www. That doesn't get found like it should. It's not, and especially if you've got somebody who's watching your video and they want to click to go to the spot, if they have to go and copy and paste, it's not going to happen sometimes. So make it easy for those watching. Make it easy for the spiders. Make, yeah, the HTTP. Finally, when you're putting all that, all these different components together in that, make sure you spell it correctly. Make sure you're using the proper spelling for your country. Specifically, color is a word. Color in the United States, C-O-L-O-R, and in different parts of the world, there's a U in there. You know, that's cool, but don't spell it wrong. If you're in the U.S., don't put a U in there because you've got people who are looking at it, and they're going to think you're a fool by having spelling. It happens. We all have typos. It, we're in a hurry, but check and double-check and make sure your YouTube descriptions and your titles and everything are as professional as possible. Just some tips if you're getting into YouTube videos that will hopefully help you be a little more successful.